Um, I received uh, complaints recently from a blogger and also from a uh, an online seller, and their complaints were kind of similar. They said uh, there were agents from the BIR who uh, went to their house and uh, knocked on the door and were inquiring about their tax payments. And I do acknowledge that every Filipino who are earning should pay their taxes. Pero if we are really serious in um, collecting revenues to uh, maximize uh, the state revenues, is it better if we would concentrate on the big fishes, not on the some small fry? Kasi nga po, uh, I said that dahil bariya-bariya lang pong kinikita ng mga blogger, especially online seller. And alam naman po natin during pandemic, uh, these are the people na nag-survive, you know, providing for their family, nag-discarte para kumita. Now, um, sa Bureau of Customs, um, kung gusto po talaga natin kumolekta ng malaking revenue, siguro po unahin natin yung mga oil smuggler. Uh, una, tanongin ko, ano po itong contract that the Bureau of Customs or the DOF, Department of Finance, entered into with uh, SGS? 8 billion pesos for six years. Is it worth it? Or can we not just, you know, buy a technology like them and then have our people from the Bureau of Customs qualified to do the job para makatipid po tayo. And even while we speak, may mga dumarating po sa akin complaints na rampan pa rin daw po ang oil smuggling. Rampan pa rin daw po yung paihi. Ano pong ginagawa ng Coast Guard? I thought meron po kayong coordination with the uh, Philippine Coast Guard, uh, Maritime, and bakit po nakakalusot? Doon sa paihi, doon po uh, uh, tinatransfer yung oil from the barco to the barge and then going to the depot. And then yung oil marking na nalusutan daw po kahit na meron na tayong tinatawag na SGS doing the oil marking. Hindi daw po lahat nalalagyan ng oil marking papuntang oil depot. Therefore, this, the only way they would be able to determine uh, how many uh, oils were transferred to the oil depot because of the oil marking and that's where they based the uh, payment of taxes, right? And then my second follow-up question is, paano po may isa-isang puntahan ang mga gasoline station at mga tanker to make sure na para yung mga gasoline station ay nakakarga doon may mga oil marking? Yun lang po yung aking katanungan, uh, Mr. Chair. If, may, if I may add one yeah, question go ahead po. before he answers the question. Uh, bakit hanggang ngayon po hindi pa rin digitalize ang Bureau of Customs? Uh, diba, it's about time na dapat po digitalize na tayo as opposed to mano-mano at kapag nagmano-mano po, eh, marami nagmamano sa mga padrino at uh, yung po mga cabinet uh, sa matanggapan ng Bureau of Customs, bukas pasok, bukas pasok at may sinasaksak. I'm sorry for, for the word, but yung po yung mga nakarating sa amin na uh, reklamo or feedback. Thank you, sir. Go ahead, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Chair, in response to the uh, query of the Honorable Senator Tolfo, uh, <clears throat> regarding the uh, fuel marking, uh, Your Honor, as of uh, it was, uh, uh, it started in 2019. No? So for three years, we have already uh, uh, implemented uh, the program uh, of uh, fuel marking. In fact, we have already int intensified the program. So uh, from uh, December or from December 2019 uh, up now. to July uh, 2022, uh, uh, we have marked uh, 45.458 billion liters of uh, fuel. Uh, and out of that, uh, we have uh, collected taxes in the amount of 457.98 billion pesos. So uh, to the to the question as to whether it is worth no it I think uh, it's worth the the price uh, being uh, <clears throat> being uh, <clears throat> paid to the uh, service provider Mr. Chair. And uh, as to the question that how uh, do we uh, test 
the uh, gas stations, gasoline stations all over the country. So uh, we are, this, this program is implemented no, jointly by the Bureau of Customs and the Bureau of Internal Revenue. So uh, for the Bureau of Customs, uh, mostly we concentrate on the uh, marking because uh, there are two stages here, the marking and the testing. So the marking uh, is done in the oil depots, in the barges, and uh, that's the data that we have that uh, for three years we have marked uh, more than 45 billion liters. No? So as to the testing, uh, this is jointly done by the uh, BIR and the Bureau of Customs. And... Uh, <clears throat> do you have enough people to do that? I thought you were overwhelmed. I thought you don't have enough people to uh, physically go to each and every gas station. Uh, uh, Mr. Check Chair, as to the uh, um, personnel of the BIR, I think uh, they have enough people to do it because uh, they have people in every district. Okay, so district. maybe it's about time you do that first before going after the bloggers and the online sellers. I think, wouldn't it be better? I think so. Uh, yes, actually, Your sure. Honor, we are intensifying the, the okay. program of uh, fuel marking. In fact, uh, we have already closed uh, uh, some uh, uh, gasoline stations for failure to for, for selling unmarked uh, fuel, Your Honor. Do you have the records for that? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. we can submit. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we can submit that uh, to your office, Your Honor, or to the Honorable Committee, Your Honor. And then last night, I'm um, Before. My question, before I would raise my uh, last question to the Bureau of Customs, uh, gusto kong malaman ninyong lahat na wala akong against sa ukay-ukay, right? In fact, my uh, people, my driver, and uh, my, my kasambahay, you know, bumibili sila sa ukay-ukay, and I, I don't stop them because yun ang gusto nila, affordable para sa kanila dahil mura. Di ho ba ang ukay-ukay ay bawal po yan? Nasa batas po natin yan, dapat po. Hindi tayo uh, nagbebenta ng mga ukay-ukay dahil yung ukay-ukay po eh yan ay mga second hand dapat po donation siya dum dumidiretso sa DSWD. Di ba tama? You agree with me? Yes, uh, yes your honor. Okay. In fact, uh, there is a policy in the DSWD there is a policy. that they do not receive ukay-ukay. Exactly. So, what <laughs> why in the heck tumingin ka sa kaliwat ka na pumunta ka Luzon besides Mindanao? nagkalat ang mga ukay-ukay. So, ano pong ginagawa ng Bureau of Customs? Bakit nakalusot itong mga ukay-ukay? Ikaw na mismo nagsabi na may policy tayo na hindi dapat binibenta ang ukay-ukay dahil dapat yan ay donation uh, galing sa ibang bansa at dapat yan dumidiretso sa DSWD at uh, charity na ipinamimigay sa mga mahirap, sa mga calamities. At bakit ibinibenta po yan sa halos lahat ng tindahan may kita mo sa sulok-sulukan ng Pilipinas? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you for that uh, question, Your Honor. Uh, actually, Your Honor, we have been uh, uh, implementing measures no? against uh, smuggling. Uh, implementing measures? Gano'n uh, nakatagal ko yung implement Eh, yung ukay-ukay po, ilang taon na po yan. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, in fact, as we uh, heighten or intensify our efforts against smuggling, uh, the, the smugglers also uh, uh, become more innovative, no? And I don't even, think so. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Buko. Yes. <laughs> Gumala lang po kayo diyan sa mga kanto, sa mga kalye. Diyan sa Divisoria, diyan sa uh, Baklaran, kahit sa ang sulok ngayon, marami ng ukay-ukay. Ano ba kayo, bulag? I'm sorry for the yeah. word again. Uh, actually, Your Honor, uh, one, one, ano, one uh, factor that uh, really make it hard for us to, uh, to uh, find, no? Kasi ang pag tinignan sa x-ray kasi yan, uh, Your Honor, uh, for example, because there are also text Okay, titignan sa x-ray. Sa... Sige, sabihin natin nakalusot po sa x-ray. Okay, paglabas na x-ray, siguro nakipagsabuatan, may tinatawag na yellow lane, red lane, green lane, whatever. Yes. Ang ibig kong sabihin, di ho ba dapat kayo mga taga Bureau of Customs, pero kayong tinatawag na follow-up operations. So kung nakalusot po doon sa loob ng pier, Paglabas po ng pier, di ba, hinahabon nyo dapat yan? Yes. Pag may nakita po kayo dyan, ng mga ukay-ukay, malalaking ukay-ukay, I don't have, again, I don't have any against these people, you know, selling ukay-ukay. Probably they want to make money. Uh, wala tayong problema dyan. Ang pinag-usapan ko natin dito, yung hindi ginagawa ata ng Bureau of Customs yung kanilang trabaho dahil yung mga ukay-ukay na nasa labas na nagkalat sa buong Pilipinas, eh bakit po hindi sinisita? 
Siguro po yung mga maliliit, wag na ho natin huliin. Siguro si Tahin lang saan galing to, sino nagparating nito, sino ang importer, sino ang consignee, etc. Uh, eh palagay ko hindi na po tinatalong dahil siguro yung consignee ay friendship na. Actually, Your Honor, uh, we have uh, ceased no? several uh, shipments of ukay-ukay and we have filed cases also against the uh, the uh, responsible. Kung marami na po kayo ng file na cases, so bakit hanggang ngayon po rampan pa rin ukay-ukay? No? Sir? Uh, we will uh, intensify more our efforts against that uh, scheme, Mr. Mr. Uh, Senator. Thank you, sir. That's all, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Senator. Last questions. Tulfo, for that, uh, hindi ko alam, hindi pala, bawal pala ukay-ukay. Bawal po yun, Sa tapat ng City Hall namin, may ukay-ukay doon eh. Correct. No? Sa tapat, sa gilid, memorize ko kasi I, I, I freak, I, taga doon ako eh. I uh, have to alert the local government that uh, what they're doing is uh, uh, not allowed. But uh, you also have, maybe I, I, I want to suggest also to um, DEPCOM Buko is to... Um, cooperate with the local government units because like I like my experience uh, I've been the mayor for quite some times I remember there's ukay ukay sa tapat ho ng city hall namin no? and uh, sorry but I didn't know it was uh, not allowed no but my point there is the uh, local governments might not uh, be informed that yes. this type of operations are not uh, within the bounds of the law yes sir so one more, Mr. Chair. Siguro, since hindi po kayang kontrolin ng uh, Bureau of Customs yung pagpasok ng ukay-ukay, siguro we have to come up with a system na, uh, I don't know, legalize ukay-ukay? Uh, I don't know. What, what do you think? Kung hindi nyo na po kayang talagang pigilan, uh, kausapan nyo po siguro yung mga mababatas na para uh, baguhin yung batas natin, yung policy to, to, to make the ukay-ukay uh, legal na pwede na pong pumasok ng bansa at magbayad po ng tamang buwis. Kasi po sa ngayon, wala pong binabayad na buwis ang ukay-ukay. Tama? Mali. Di ba? Wala po. Ni singkong duling. So kung wala siyang binabayad na singkong duling na buwis, eh bakit po nagbebenta siya at pinagkakitaan? So siguro po, it's about time. Kung hindi nyo po kayang pigilan, eh pagbayarin lang po ng buwis itong mga ukay-ukay na ito para naman kumita ang gobyerno kahit papaano. Kaysa naman po tinutugos nyo po yung mga online seller na bariya-bariya lang po ang kinikita. Tinutugis niyo po yung mga vlogger na bariya-bariya lang kinikita. Samantalang, ayan po, ukay-ukay, ang laking sindikato po nasa likod niyan, all smuggling, etc. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, sir. Thank, uh, thank you, Thank you, sir. sir. So, uh, go ahead, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, Your Honor. So, uh, the policy against uh, the entry of ukay-ukay, actually, Your Honor, is a uh, Department of Health uh, policy. Uh, the uh, policy was issued by the Department of Health for health reasons. Uh, as to the suggestion of the chairman, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, we will immediately do uh, the suggestion that uh, we will coordinate with uh, the local government units all over the country and inform them that uh, the, the said items are prohibited, Mr. Chair. Tayo ko rin po, Mr. Chen, matanggalan ng trabaho na buhay sa ngayon kasi marami na pong umaasa sa ukay-ukay, marami na pong mga families na ang kinabubuhay po nila ay ukay-ukay. But, hey, it's not my fault. Huwag sana magalit sa akin yung nagbibenta na ukay-ukay. Maybe just like you, Mr. Chair, they don't know na bawal po pala yun. They, 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 ang nangyari kasi, Mr. Chair, binibili din nila yung Mr. Chair. Eh. Binibili nila yun. They didn't know na yung pinagbilhan nila ay eh, hindi nagbabayad ng buwis. Samantalang ito nagtitinda ng mga ukay-ukay, maliliit na tindahan ng ukay-ukay, nagbabayad po sila ng buwis. Nag-register po siguro sila sa BPLO para ma-recognize po ng BPLO, magbigyan sila ng yung plaka na sila ay uh, legit at nagbabayad ng buwis sa uh, city na kung saan nandun yung kanilang negosyo. And this little ukay-ukay stores, they're, they're paying taxes. Whereas itong mga nagparating ng ukay-ukay, ni singkong duling, wala pong binabayaran. And don't tell me, Mr. Buko, sir, na hindi niyo po alam yun. Siguro po, pati yung pusa at yung si Kuting dyan sa paglalaga sa Bureau of Customs, alam na kung sino yung mga broker. Siguro po, imposible sa Bureau of Customs, alam niya kung sino pong mga broker doon. Kung sino pong mga consignee. Pero kung sasabihin niyo po, I'm sorry again, kayo po sa mga taga Bureau of Customs, hindi niyo po alam, meron po palang ganun, uh, parang kahapon na po kayo pinanganak. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. We recognize the virtual presence of Senator Pimentel and uh, Senator Cayetano. Good morning, ma'am and sir.
on on that on that note, um, RA four six five three prohibits secondhand clothes being sold in the country. So, so that's the legal basis of uh, Center Tulfos. Uh, um, uh, manifestation earlier or questions earlier, and it's about time no, to revisit this law. Um, like I said, uh, we cannot fault the retailers for selling ukay ukay because I don't think they know it's mm -hmm. illegal. In fact, um, uh, many of the retailers pay business permits, mm -hmm. no? um, but they sell ukay ukay. So I don't think uh, they are uh, aware that uh, those those being sold are not legal under RA4653. Nevertheless, uh, it's about to revisit and uh, like to we'd like to uh, seek the uh, comments of uh, the Bureau of Customs as to how to, um, what are the things that we need to revisit, uh, revisit on the law RA4653 and give us some suggestions to that effect. Yes, Mr. Chair. All right.